Push the button. Do the thing. Hang up the phone. Call the cat, maybe. Hey, Benny. Benny Ben. That has like a, a 50% chance of working, by the way. Welcome on in, everyone. Um, we are going to just be doing like casual, casual nail things today. Um, huh. Take off my birthday manicure and uh, do a new manicure. Something simple, I think, today. Not nail art. But um, these are kind of what I'm thinking of. Of course, if you are in the future watching on YouTube, I uh, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. If you're into nail art and uh, nail polish and nail adjacent related things. And of course, if you would like to join me live, you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. Gonna do the tweet and the discord like show and yeah I think that's about it like I really really enjoyed this birthday manicure let me zoom in here we're very far away and it wore really really well on too um I made the kind of dumb move to sorry that was kind of to go in the garden with no gloves on so like you could see like the nails that i have left um oops um where are you you are too dumb to be quiet you need to die gmail and hangouts Bloop. okay um and yeah actually it would probably be good if i could see this here hey caters hey karen um okay so um Hey, LJ. Yeah, um, I was saying that like this wore really well. I mean, all the nails except for one really did pretty well. And the very saddest part, the very saddest part. Oh, hey, Sophia. Almost didn't see you. Is that I lost the Peely. <laughs> I mean, it's so sad. I know you're going to cry, right? But like I was I just I was outside. I was like, let me just grab out a couple weeds because like the clover are invading my strawberry patch so bad i was like it just rained let me just see how these are coming up and just you know i was trying to be careful but i didn't have gloves on and then i took a took a handful of weeds and pulled them out i mean these these clover are just like such a pain in the butt but they come out really easy but the patch is kind of large and i look and i'm like oh so I'm like, look, I'm looking at my handful of weeds. I'm looking in the, in the berry patch. And finally, I'm just like, man, fuck, it's gone. Gone forever. But it is on. So my right middle nail is one that I'm having. You can kind of see there. I put a like a base and a top coat on it just to protect it. I've been having some lifting and peeling on the edge and... A lot of times that can contribute to peelies, um, like coming up prematurely because it's a place for water to get in there. And of course, you know, the peel off base coat hates water. Would not recommend going swimming with the peel off base coat on unless you want your peelies to be like, this, this is a peely floating on the water. Yes. Yes. It's happened <laughs> to me. Hey, yo. <clears throat> Yeah, but at least if it was, if it happened in the glove, I could like, you know, pull it inside out and there's my peely. <laughs> I hate the gloves though. Like, okay, number one, they're so uncomfortable. They're, they don't fit well. I have trouble finding gloves like large enough for my hands that are not like manly sized. So a lot of times I either end up with gloves where the fingers are too short or where the fingers are long enough, but they're too wide. It's super a pain in the butt. Um, you know, so a lot of times if I'm just weeding or something, I don't wear gloves. But Sinji, thank you for the host. Let me do a, uh, yo, thank you so much. 11 months. Wow. With the prime, with the 
with the Prime. I I now, at least for one month, have a Prime sub and I have to decide where I'm going to spend it. Thank you so much for spending yours with me. And if anybody else, no. <laughs> no, but really though, if you have Amazon Prime, you can have Twitch Prime. You can get a free sub. Yeah, well, and the ones I have, they're kind of like, they're cottony with the little what do you like a uh, grippy dots you, i'm gardeners know what i'm talking about so they're not as hot as like super heavy duty ones but they're they're still hot when it's like gross out which it has been very gross outside <clears throat> um okay so is this in the way actually that's pretty good we have a fresh bouquet i just went out and picked it just before stream which is nice because we have we have no beanie yet um anyway that's the extended super unnecessarily long version of how i uh of how i lost my peely and actually i suppose i should get out the camera here for pointlessly recording the peel One day, 10 years from now, when I come out with the ultimate Peely compilation, <laughs> I'll be glad that I did this. No, I really do need to like, well, I'm not even on top of editing my tutorials. So, Caters, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Congratulations, Karen. I've said it before. I feel like congratulations is maybe not the right thing to say, but congratulations. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Enjoy your beanies and your Clarks and your cloths. Um, that's not my tea. Okay. I, I intentionally ordered these different colors so I'm not confused and I'm still confused. I mean, I'm not, I don't stay confused. I guess I realize pretty quick when I'm reaching for the wrong mug, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's get you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, that one was unintentional. Um, I was trying to get you guys at a good angle for the peel. Hey, Kitsune. Because I, I know that's what everybody's really here for, is the peel porn. <laughs> um, let me find my edges here. Which will hopefully be pretty easy i really want nice peels out of these because uh i just i really like how this manicure turned out and to be honest like it took me a while i st i struggled on the pinky and i mean it's not the easiest thing in the world but i feel like i got a lot better as i was going along with this with like handling the strips hey atlas Yeah, Athelus. Those sound interesting. Especially if they come in like larger, larger sizes. Cause like, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of hard on camera to be like, look how large my hands are. They just look like my hands, but most women's gloves, it's like the fingers are not, especially like with my nails, like the fingers are not long enough. Obviously you don't want your gloves impinging on your nails impinging I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but that's okay let me take a look at these oh goodness <sighs> what wow you can just like completely get up in there are they removable though or are they just on there like i don't always need to be wolverine in the garden <laughs> it looks so good though wow <laughs> i'm sorry y'all you should take a peek at that <laughs> okay <clears throat> okay um <laughs> that really tickled me Okay, I did find the edge on that one. Or the edge was so easy. I completely, I don't even know where I left off on finding edges on these nails. I just, that completely sidetracked me in the best way. Okay. 
so. No, oh, it's a little bit too close, like that. Okay, and hinging. No. Yes, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. And I will, if I don't know, you guys can count on me admitting that I don't know. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> There's a Peely for you. Oh, they're coming off so good. You guys. So, like, a lot of times, decals do come up as a pretty nice peely. But since this was, like, you know, multiple strips, not just, like, a single decal, I wasn't sure, ooh, I wasn't sure how we'd, how we'd go, how it would turn out. This is really good. <laughs> They're, like, perfect peelies. I'm even sadder now that we are one peely short. We have nine peelies instead of ten. Nine beautiful purple peelies. God, they're coming off so easily. I can't believe actually given this. Like, I can't believe I didn't lose more. <laughs> to be honest. We've got a little bit of like peel off base coat residue left but oops nudge the mic there like that type of a stuff but we'll get rid of that Ugh. yes god look at him you're you're a little dented get that little dent out of you there you go i think yeah was that my index nail yeah that one was one of my favorites. This one was one of my favorites. That one was okay. Oops, oops, turn over. What else? They were all, I don't know, they were, I really enjoyed this. I wish, like you can kind it there. Like, you see that thumbnail? Like, the glare of the ring light actually makes it kind of challenging to actually see all of the staggeredness. I'm also quite happy that I did um, put on a layer of uh, the linear holo taco because I feel like it brought the different holo finishes of the various polishes together son hello 12 months welcome to one year and a very very fancy barney nipple for you <laughs> oh they look less and less like nipples the, the more rings there are it's a water marble bullseye you guys of course it's not actually supposed to be a nipple um, where's, oh, right here. <laughs> um, we just did the peely, son. We just peeled off the purple manicure. Did you see the end? God, this cotton ball's filthy. Cotton segment. I should keep them handy. Maybe I should put them in a, uh oh, did one fall off? Oh, they all rolled upside down like little turtles. <laughs> I think one did fall off, too. I was just trying to get them out of the way. We lost one. The rest of them are so nice, though. Oh, like, if you're into peelies, this has to be so fucking satisfying for you. I mean, I have, like, residue from the base coat on my nails, but I have very little polish residue on my nails. Because that's just how good the peel was. <laughs> yeah it's just i mean like even if you're not like completely on the peel peel porn like bandwagon you can't tell me there's not something in you that finds that really satisfying 
or maybe no maybe there are people out there who don't find that really satisfying i don't know i feel like it's one of those things even if i wasn't into nail polish like i could appreciate that Got a little bit here and a little bit under here. What did we get under there? Probably during cleanup and press down. Yeah, let's get some actual polish remover here. Just regular polish remover, not full on ass tone. And then we're gonna pick a color. We have seven, six actually, because this one is not actually a contender of what to put on my nails. I know that was like a hor. That was that was completely un unpro strimmer of me. I'm sorry, you guys, but we, we got to finish taking this off first before we before we can play with any of those. One of them I was really disappointed when I pulled out. So, like most of you guys probably know, like nail polish, ninety. I'm gonna go ahead and say ninety seven percent of the time, which I know is like oddly kind of precise, but like. 97% of the time nail polish I do not believe expires it does not go bad no, nothing wrong with using an old polish but there's like this 3% of polishes maybe we can actually oh you guys when we do swatches we can mathematically see what percentage it is by when we see like what of my collection is not the color it's fucking supposed to be which is what happened with one of these colors that I pulled out and I I expect it to a degree I'm really sad about the polish that it happened to happen to mm. yeah definitely enjoy your lurk Sophia I mean when I the first time I did one of these I was kind of like I did you know is this weird Do people care like you know like I'm not showing you anything all that you know unique or impressive or nail art or anything but then i was like you know it's not all about that the stream's never all about that it's about like hanging out like i'd like okay so why would i do this by myself when i could hang out with you guys basically is what it comes down to because nails with nails with friends is always better because there, are, you you guys are all the people that get me, and you'll get why I'm so saddened by this uh, color casualty in my collection. It's a fine color still. It's a gold hollow. I think you can see that it's very very hollow, but I think we can all just agree that this is just gold, right? I'm going to show you guys the inside of the lid where you get to see the last remnant of the original color. See it there? See how much pinker and copper it used to be? Pink is one of the pickiest pigments also, in my opinion. Um, so you can see this, uh, I unfortunately have to report, is uh, five rose gold rings. And it is no longer rose gold. It is just gold. Yeah, neons, moon baby. Uh, especially neon pinks. One of the first polishes I really remember having this experience was my neon pink Conad stamping polish. Like I went to reach for my neon pink Conad stamping polish and I had this pastel pink stamping polish. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? Like, what even is that? And same thing, like, I opened up the lid and that little old original dried bit was in the original, like, neon pink color and the whole rest of the bottle was, like, pastel. Mm. You should redo it, but not gonna bother. I mean, if you're not in the mood for it, son, then, you know, as as much as I am not, like, a chipped polish advocate, like, chipped polish is better than no polish. It's still affording your nails more protection than being naked. Yeah, it was, it, I mean, it was a gorgeous color. I'm very sad. I, I've worn it. I, I couldn't say how many times I've worn it. At least once, maybe a couple more times than that. Cause I just really, it was, it was gorgeous. I need to find something to kind of replace it. Um, like I said, there's nothing, I would buy this. 
absolutely I would buy this. But that's not what I bought. I, I bought the other thing because I liked it. You know, that's kind of an interesting idea. Maybe I could try to franken it back to the color it's supposed to be. Ooh, sunburn. That's not a bad idea at all because, like I said, as pretty as this is, I'm pretty sure I have uh, colors by Laro that are same slash similar shade of gold to this. Wow. You know, okay, so check this out. One of the other colors, you know what might be good to like try to franken it back to life is like a drop or two of this. Like, okay. This is uh, Sidewalk Psychic. Like a drop or two of this in here, would that make... Okay, and white balance, why Why are you deciding to be a fuck? You're getting turned off. That's what's going to happen to you. Would that make it go back to that color? Ooh, you guys. Woo! Dude. Hey, Danny. Oh, grilling. Yum. Yum, caters. Enjoy your lurk. Ugh. We are not quite that hot, son, but I can definitely relate. <clears throat> it has been very hot and very humid and very heat indexy around here. Um, yeah, you guys probably don't really notice, hopefully, if the filter's doing a thing, its thing, but I mean, I've had my air conditioner on, like, constantly... I, I think we have to try this, you guys, and just see what happens. Okay, there. I need a little bit more. Oops. I need a little bit more polish remover for the nail that I actually, like I said, I put, if, if there's a couple nails where I'm having issues with where if I lose a peely before I'm ready to like redo my nails, I will just put on like a base coat and a top coat and just, oh God, the flower stained me. The flowers almost stained my shirt. I was carrying the bouquet and one of their pollen covered stamens made contact with my boob and I looked down and I was like, oh! and it's still a little bit like, it's, can you see like this little yellow courtesy of this guy right here? Look at them. They're just like reaching. They're just looking for something to get pollen onto. Anyway, I got all over my shirt and I got most of it off, but like I, I can still see like a little bit of residue. Hundred and fourteen. That's just dangerously hot. That's just not cool at all. Yeah, you know, cats though love the heat. They're desert creatures, and they. Uh, like they cool off through their ears. Like they got, that's why they have so many veins in their ears. The blood goes up there and cools off and then comes back and then they, uh, they cool that way. But like sometimes Beanie, like right now, I'm 90% sure at least part of the reason he's not in here is because I have the air on. He's either in one of the other upstairs, he's in the other upstairs room, ups, upstairs room, um, where it's not as cool as in here. Or he's probably actually downstairs on the porch, which is not air conditioned at all. Um, he likes being in the heat, so don't at least don't worry about that. Yeah, same sun. Yeah, so you can see. Hmm, it's a peel. Like I could just like peel that off right now don't do this at home kids see that <laughs> don't do what I do um, we'll just with the white side yeah, actually, get a little bit more of that peel off. And I'm going to hit it like super lightly because this is already thin now. You saw, I peeled off a layer of nail because it was already lifted. 
and manicuring over that is just a place for the manicure to fail and is probably why I lost this peely in the first place. Super lightly with the pink, super lightly with the white so that it's smooth. <clears throat> <laughs> this is my one of my other problem nails we've got a little worrisome spot there which i can see is starting to lift a little bit but it's still not a break it's just it's a peel except instead of at the tip of the nail like this one was it's like halfway down the nail and could very easily turn into a crack it's a it's like a stress mark it's grown out a little bit this nail, I seem to have grown out all the peeling. So we don't have any left on the tip there. So that's good. Um, should we swatch these or should we? I should probably like give my cuticles just a tiny bit of attention. We should probably swatch these colors and then we can maybe play with our Franken attempt. And then we'll do the actual manicure. Ooh, what if we get this back to the color that it actually was, you guys? That'd be so good. I, you know, I wonder, did I post a, uh, let me take a look here real quick on my channel. Cause I'm wondering if I posted, if I posted a, uh, polish in motion of this. Thing. Oh, oh. Pizza. Yum. Hello? Search? No. No videos found. Okay, so... I thought that would be... an easy way to, like, pull up... Um... Pull up pictures of what it originally looked like, other than, like, the rim that's left around the edge of the bottle. For a while I was sitting here trying to frank and I suppose I could just Google some pictures. I would like to use my own, but when I haven't like posted it, it uh gets a little bit hard to find it in my in my files of pictures and stuff. Like some people I don't know, is anybody actually organized enough that like every time they upload their camera they like tag pictures or add keywords or do some of the like organizy things that these programs allow you to do? <laughs> hey Lexi yes you are in time for the cuticles we just well not just just but mainly just main, mainly just finished the uh, peelies and getting rid of the residue and now we're oh that's an ant the whoa downside to the lovely flowers from outside is them bringing little creatures from outside with them i try to get all the ants off hopefully that was the only one he's smushed in here now <laughs> wait what what did i say <laughs> son i mean thank you i think i don't know i already don't i don't I, sometimes I don't know if I'm like cracking a joke or if I'm just being funny or if I'm just like being real and it's kind of a funny thing or if I'm just like just weird and funny or I don't know I guess they're all good things <laughs> oh well I mean really though like can you imagine like oh I want to see some pictures of my cat let me go into my photo software and let me just pull up with the beanie tag like oh my god there they all are like are you kidding me i take so many pictures how can you tag all your pictures like who is this designed for am, am i the minority or are these picture tagging people the my minority here <laughs> the folder right okay so when i very 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 first started like my blog and stuff my blog i started in january 2009 um and I was, you know, taking pictures and I was trying to be organized, right? And I, when I would upload them, they would go in folders by, by date. So there's like, you know, year folder, month folder, day folder. And then I would go in there and I was like, 
well, I don't want these nail pictures in with all my regular pictures. Let's make a nails folder, right? Except it wasn't very long until I realized that the majority of all my pictures are nails. So I stopped doing that. But what I should have started doing is probably taking the non-nail pictures and putting them in a separate folder somewhere. Except I didn't do that. So I've got like 10 years of digital photographs and the only, the only sorting that there is, is just by date. That's it. Well, that's not quite true. Like, if I edit a picture, of course, you know, like, I'll name it something. So if there's, like... But not always super descriptive. Like, if I'm editing the thumbnail for the the Groovy Rainbow Water Marble, it doesn't get called Groovy Rainbow Water Marble Thumbnail. It just call, gets called Thumbnail. And then it goes in the folder. Some of the, some of the pictures do get named, you know, like, Groovy Rainbow Water Marble. But, like, a lot of them... Or one thing I used to do is I would edit a picture, I would crop it or something. And then to indicate that, I would just save it with the C after it. So it was, you know, 13874JPEG-C for cropped. Yeah, you know, I think it was just like one nails folder. Maybe there had there had to have been some some further distinction. But yeah, like, obviously that was like not not the way to handle things at all. But yeah, so I, I have a lot of stuff and it's hard to find stuff. Like if I can remember, like, oh, sure, that was, you know, around my birthday in such and such of a year. Actually, no, let's do this. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Call them small. I think a lot of people have that. It's like these little handy naming conventions. But then like if you think about them. Like, well, they make sense. They're not actually very useful. Except really, like, how often do you go back and look at your pictures? Like, it's kind of interesting. Like, I, I, it's, I don't think people even have really realized the change that digital pictures have brought to pictures. Like, you know, we've been going through my grandma's things since she died. And she's got a lot of old pictures. Like, like, old pictures. Like, of her parents and grandparents old pictures and it's like you know I, it gets me thinking about like you know i i don't have albums and albums of pictures i have like drives and drives of pictures and videos and like is anybody like when i die gonna actually go through these or are these like of course will it even be the same then like what is this future of digital media and pictures and stuff i don't know it's kind of weird I mean, I've only really invented, I think, like, two. And that's, like, with an asterisk, <laughs> I would say. Staggered Gradient, I, I, will, lay, I will lay claim to that. Um, and I'll, I'll lay claim to Drip Marbling, but it's, it's very, very similar to Fluid Art, which you know, has been done as not on nails, but like as an art technique for a long, long time. Ah, phone call. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, well, I, I don't know if I can lay claim over drip drop blobicure either because it's just a blobicure like on crack or on steroids, whichever, whichever you prefer, depending on how crazy you think it is. Hey, hi there. Well, come on in, beanie. We got a beanie, y'all. We've been we've been blessed by a, a small gray boy, who's not really very small. <laughs> yeah, well, cause really, so the drip marble all came about when I was trying to figure out the drip drop blobicure before I realized that you needed a wet base for the blobicure to actually like drip drop out and spread like I wanted it to. Like I did the, uh, like the way that I started out the drip marble with just a bunch of little stacks of dots and they weren't 
you know, doing the blob cure thing. So then I just like picked up the lid and they started moving and I was like, well, let's do this. Um, and it turned out freaking awesome. But yeah. And the staggered gradient, I mean, that's, I don't know. It's like ter- taking a couple already existing things and turning them into a new thing. All right. I've got a little, little tiny hangnail right here. You guys see it? I'm going to get that with the nippers. Nope. And I, I mean, like, I've been credited with creating water marbling. Like, I 100% did not create water marbling. I maybe, and I'm not even for sure about this, I maybe can take credit for starting to call it a bullseye. I don't think I saw that in any videos before I started. But the thing is, so before I water marbled for the first time, I basically watched two YouTube videos. And I think one is not narrated at all. And the other one is in French. So I I don't know like what they were referring to stuff as. So when I started doing it, I just kind of called it as I saw it. And I was like, so this uh, bullseye, I mean, like it seems obvious, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can, I, I, I kind of maybe can claim that. I don't know. I mean, you're not wrong, son. Whole Foods only has healthy things, right? All right, we'll do cuticles, we'll do swatches, we'll do frankening, and then we'll do uh, manicure. Then, okay, so after we do the manicure, I thought about just like <clears throat> going right into Hollow Knight, but really, by that time, I'm probably going to need a dinner break. So I will probably break for dinner for um, an hour-ish. Might be ish on the less side, might be ish on the more side. Um, and then do some Hollow Knight this evening, I think, is the plan. Because, oh my god, you guys, look at That wasn't quite as angelic as I intended, but those are my new headphones. They're so nice. We, we need to break them in, obviously. We need to have them their inaugural stream. Um, it's, it's like, so, like, did like to not have anything pressing on my ears i know you can see i'm looking at my capture right now you see my ears stick out this is what the other headphones would do to them the other ones these these like don't touch them at all anywhere like mind blown i mean i knew it was possible i just i've never i've never owned a pair of headphones like these they're so nice um the most exciting thing i mean staples are a very useful thing and how exciting they are just depends on what you're stapling son (laughs) yeah you know if you're stapling i i don't know i can't think of anything exciting to staple (laughs) stapling together a, a a a a Uh, a a new recipe there we go recipes are exciting ish (laughs) if you like to cook i like to cook i just i don't know i'm not usually in the mood for cooking because i always want to do something else but i do enjoy cooking when i do it if i just have like the time see halloween and christmas decorating is exciting <clears throat> and that sounds like a freaking awesome deal. I didn't get a whole lot. Like I was looking, I, I was looking to spend money. I was like, "What do you got for me, Amazon?" But the main, the main thing was the headphones, and uh, I'm really glad that I got those. I'm. I just. I need to decide now if I'm hanging on to my Prime or if I'm uh, just taking my free month and running. I'm kind of like inclined to keep it, but we'll see. I mean, I need to decide by like, I don't know. It's like 
second week of August, I think, is when it would auto renew and charge me or whatever. Because obviously, if I do decide to keep it, it would make more sense to do the the yearly than the bi monthly. By, by the month, I should say, bi monthly means something else. The by the month, because you save like I don't know what twenty thirty dollars a year if you just do it all at once. Hey, Amethyst. Yeah, I mean, and also, too, you know, you get the free Twitch sub every month. So if you consider that, and if it's, you know, money that you may already be or would otherwise be spending on purchasing a sub, um, you know, that, that basically is half the value of the subscription right there. Yes, ex exactly, Atlas. Exactly. Well, and two, it's like, you know, usually I can wait. But at the same time, sometimes I don't want to wait. Like, I, you know, you guys know, you've, you've witnessed me switch from, like, the most patient of beings to, like, all of a sudden, like... <laughs> it's just a little bit rough on this nail. I think stuff like this too like if you guys ever have any questions please feel free to ask I'm not professional watch Dr. Crotron come out of lurk and be like yes you are keeps trying to, he t keeps trying to tell me I'm a professional um but like you know if you like I, I know some things I can ex I can at least explain why I do things we got another hang naily thing here you guys see that? Oh, that's so dry. It just wants to come right off. You gonna... Yeah, let's get the nippers. Mm. Mm. Hold on. Ugh. It's like very calloused right there. What is going on here? Get this hangnail area under control. Sorry, I know I'm off camera. I just need a little closer supervision of this particular area. Especially when going in with sharp things. Mm. Sometimes, if there's something that's like really, really like stuck to the nail plate, I'll use the edge of the nipper. Like I use this thing, except the edge of the nipper actually is super sharp. So it can really... Like you still have to be gently, but like if you're careful, you can use that sharpness to like get something that's really stubborn. Ugh. I think it's because that's where I hold my pen. You can see I've got a callus right there too. And it's like the cuticle just ends up getting a little bit thicker. And out of control there. More prone to hangnails. Drier just in general. I'm going to have to snip this too. But again, like buffing and cuticle nippers, they have their place. And their place is, is best used judiciously. Hmm. trying to be careful here I have I mean I think probably anybody that's used nippers has accidentally nipped a little too much <clears throat> prime video too okay so like I don't know much about it but I know that that's where Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn's new Project Runway not Project Runway show is going to be on so I might watch that if I bring myself to watch a TV show yeah free shipping and faster shipping like I said sometimes I would get faster shipping just cause like the uh the warehouse is close but then like some like 
then sometimes like when, when i'd be hoping that i'd get fast shipping of course i never would and then i'd be kind of irritated because it's like oh why you bring me the thing i don't need the next day and then this i actually have to wait my three to five business days or whatever you know So, yeah, I'm 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 quite leaning toward keeping it, especially because I find myself like less and less wanting to go out, which sounds so horrible, but like I don't know, like I if I can order it online, I think I'd rather. Like this applies to most things other than like groceries like i don't i don't really have any interest in having my groceries delivered i wish there was a grocery store that carried everything i wanted so i didn't have to go to hy and cup foods and barley's and a target just because they all then decided to carry different shit that i like but that's a different story mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah that's i you know i actually i don't have an actual credit card like i've never really needed one because my bank card works like a credit card but i kept seeing like when i was doing the prime shopping and looking at stuff like the credit card offers kept popping up all the time and i kept just kind of ignoring them but i was kind of like hmm yeah those are valid points son and I will say, like, if you have questions, like, if you have a pr particular question or just kind of an open-ended question, um, we do have some very knowledgeable computer folks in our community. Like, in my questions thing, like, Dr. Crotron built his own computer. Um, Dr. Crotron's computer has a name, for those who did not know. And, uh, I mean, th there's a lot of people that know a lot, more than I do. Like my, my computer buying strategy has always been, um, and I haven't bought one in like probably five years now. I think I've decided this one was, I really can't remember exactly what fall it was. I suppose I could look back on my Instagram cause I, I recall posting that there would be no tutorial because I had no computer. Um, I've pretty much always gone desktop because like editing is so resource heavy kind of the same with streaming but they do make like streaming laptops gaming laptops that i'm sure would be fine for editing um like i always try to like set myself a reasonable budget and then like spend as much of it as i can because it's like the more that you spend and the higher end that you go the more you're kind of like future proofing yourself like, especially with, like, RAM and stuff, RAM and memory, the more you have, like, you're, you're not, you're never going to need less. They're not going to magically start going backwards. C cameras are not going to go back to being, you know, two, three megapixels. Like, I think this big boy, does it say somewhere on it? It probably does. I think this sucker is, like, 20 megapixels, okay? So, like, everything is getting like that. Like, games. You can, you could fit every Nintendo game. I forget if it's on like a floppy disk or like a CD, but like every NES game can fit on that. And then you look at something like, you know, computer games now where if you buy them, well, of course, most people don't buy them on hard copy, but some people still do. And they're on like multiple and multiple, multiple CDs for one game. My point is everything's only getting bigger and taking up more room and more memory and more all that. So that strategy has served me pretty well and then um like i'd pick something and then i would like my last couple like run it by my it friend like yo what do you think of this this is a pretty good deal and they'd be like oh yeah or no uh, no <laughs> so and i know a lot of people are not a fan but my current computer is a dell and i've been very happy with it my previous one it's still it's like tucked in the corner somewhere because it actually does still work um was a uh, sony i think my last two before this one were sony's or no wait that's not my last one tucked in the corner my last computer actually died died the more i think about this i my last computer is dissembled and i have the hard drive in a box somewhere the the cpu 
actually went out and I had to disassemble it and pull the hard drive out to, uh, why did I have to do that? Did this like perfectly coincide with when I was having storage problems and I didn't have everything backed up? I think it had to be. It, it was kind of a hassle. It was kind of a hassle. Mm. No, that's water. This is tea. Yeah, well, I mean, that's just, it's, it's kind of silly when people don't know that because even Amazon sells out of shit sometimes or has stuff that they're not shipping and has to come from, you know, across the globe or something. <laughs> they go water zone. The thing I was thinking about buying on uh, Prime Day that I did not end up buying is a new cell phone because I just couldn't quite get myself to bite that several hundred dollar bullet. Um, like my phone is so old and stuff just most a lot of stuff doesn't work properly on it, but like it works enough most of the time <laughs> that I just was having trouble like committing. And then the one that I was looking at did actually sell out. Like it went from, you know, arriving Tuesday to, you know, usually ships in one to three weeks to this item is temporarily out of stock. And then I was like, well, you just procrastinated yourself right out of a decision, Clep. GG. And yes, I'm off camera. I'm cuticle nippering. A couple other little hangnail areas. Very uh judiciously yeah that's the word you know generally speaking don't fuck with you know your skin the cuticle on the nail plate yeah fuck with it all you want gently but the cuticle that's not really your cuticle what is this the hyponychium or no this is the hyponychium hyponychium anyway this part that you can feel when you touch it and it's real live skin don't fuck with it okay let's today's the 17th 7 17 19 our options for today for my manicure include but are not limited to but probably it'll be some of these one of these plain manicured not nail art we're just gonna like do regular manicure uh great graphite which i'm actually like not sure like how glittery this is oh come on camera there we go like it looks very metallic and foily and kind of glittery and kind of sparkly but like when i look at it it's got like regular like regular polished texture not like a you know like a glitter texture so I'm actually like not sure about that one. I mean, I'm planning on using regular base coat today. So I guess I'm kind of leaning away from this one because I, well, let's see how it, how it applies. Maybe I'll be able to tell a little bit more. Like, I don't want anything that's going to be hard to remove. Wow. It's got some like little holographic sparkles in it. I mean, it's mostly like this gunmetal. There we go. See those little shimmers coming through in that unfocused shot? Excuse me. That unfocused is actually a little bit helpful there, camera. Not always. Don't, don't go getting ideas. Um, then we have the darkest days. I think I maybe had this pulled out before. This is very deep teal camera. Hollow. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Why, camera? Just imagine one day me being so good that we don't have to struggle with the focus. What if I... This is one of the other ones. What if we have some text for you to focus on? 
and then we just hold this next to it. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Y'all, we learned something. Oh, no, we didn't. Maybe we did. Just, just sneak it on in there. <laughs> yeah, but as far as like laptops and stuff go, like I think being portable is super convenient. I have a little Chromebook when I need to be portable. But um yeah, I don't know. That you decide that first. Desktop or laptop and then that will inform a lot of your decision. So anyway, this is, I guess you can kind of see it there behind the sticker. This is a Colors by LaRoe. The other one that I was using, Intrigue, is uh, like a mauve with a gold sheen shimmer hollow. This was a Hypnotic Polish exclusive. I think we swatched this the other day. We almost used this in the gradient, I think. That's really nice. Yeah, it's kind of plummier. I think that's why we didn't use it. It's plummier than these. We were going with kind of a more violet, or not violet, but um, indigo, indigo and purple. This one's more like a plummy purple. Um, then we also have this was also a reject from the gradient date with destiny from Color Club. Oh, and you just like that just fine, huh, camera? She's pretty. Very, like, sheeny, lavender toned hollow. I might take a couple coats, two or three. I mean, they're all going to take at least two. That one might take three, though. And then, like, the non hollow sitting here is uh, Hooked, which is uh, one of the oil slicks. You can kind of see. Can I get an angle where you can see uh, there, see it in the corner there, that like pinky purple, that's its duochrome. And this, I may, may be influenced by my, by my clothes, because today I've got on like turquoise tie-dye palazzo pants is what they're called anyway and this goes like pretty dang well <laughs> so may or may not be influenced um sidewalk psychic which is like terracotta hollow like it's not orange it's not exactly copper. Like, I feel like it's not quite pink enough to be copper. And then, of course, five rose gold rings, which used to be rose gold and is now just, just gold. Man. That's weird. Again, there's a look at the lip. It's interesting from this angle, like right there, there they've got a lot of similarities to them. The the neck of this bottle and this. I mean this obviously is like a lot more intense. Oh come on, camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna How much should I start with? I have no idea. I mean, I'm going to need like a, I don't want to turn it super this color. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just like dripping some in here right now. Let's shake it up and see what that did. Ooh, I'm already feeling that. It's warmer. 
can you i i don't know how much you guys are going to be able to tell i guess we can i should have done another swatch down here of the original and we could see how it develops they're going to be far away from each other like it's just slightly warmer I need more of that. And maybe something like a little bit more pink. I'm I'm counting in my head. Would it be less weird instead of sitting silently on camera counting in my head? Should I should I have been counting out loud? <laughs> All right, second round. I'm just looking at my options here too. You know, do those three look like they go together? Some kind of unique. Gradient. Ooh, we're getting warmer. Can you see it? Oh, please tell me you guys can see it. They look very similar there. It's like getting a little darker. Yeah, you can you can see the difference. I want like a, You're too sparkly. You're not hollow. Do I not have your purple? Is this this is too pink though, I think. I I kinda mm. Like I don't feel like this is the tone that I exactly want, but I feel like I want it to lean more pink. Not this pink though. No, don't put that in there. I'll regret it. Don't I have? Okay. What about? No, oh, you're very light and pale. Did I? Maybe I have one that's not in here. Oh. Let's. Okay, Bane. Excuse, excuse me, Bane. Excuse me. Um, we hmm. Too orange. That's a cosmic fate. Hell is my king hog, dude. There. Oh, you're light. You're lighter than I remember. You're a lot lighter than I remember. I think I want to add a little bit of that, though. Hey, Dino. We're, uh, we're frankening. My, my five rose gold rings. Oh, we're, we're losing the rim, you guys. That's the only indication we have of the original color still. I'm going to add a little bit of this and a little bit more of this. And then we'll see if I want to add a little bit of the cream, of a cream, sort of a pink. Let's, uh... Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. And then ten more of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay, guys. What are we going to get here? You know what else would look pretty cool? Like this and this and then this. From that angle, you're getting so much of the turquoise. I'm getting... there that blue god it's such a weird angle but you guys are getting so much of that turquoise if it was like solidly turquoise that would go with those hmm. I think some more of that pink is coming through you guys see it do I need to I need to shake this a little bit more I think I feel like we're getting gradually warmer I don't feel like it's like pink enough yet though like it's closer but it's not like going rose I'm I'm kind of thinking that too I kind of want to reach for my color paints Sun, do you think that would be any anybody with Franken experience? Please speak up. Where are you? Like we have this is like too pink. This is like red though. You think this, or maybe just a bit of this? Like maybe like. A couple of these and like more of this. Let's try a drop of the red. Can I can I get a drop? You're emptier than I thought. Let's see what that does. Why are you blinking at me, Steam? Self-updater, go to hell. Go ahead, restart yourself. Nobody cares. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna add two more drops of that. And a drop of the pink. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll just see how that goes. Sh 
shake things up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. Now we're getting there. This is actually really close. Like it's it's not like pink. It's rose gold. I'm running out of like as I'm opening and closing the lip, I'm running out of like the residue on the lip. There's a little bit on the inside of the stick too. Oh, this is really close, you guys. I'm adding two more of the red and one more of the pink again. Oh. 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 That was nice. Okay. Three of the red. No, two of the red, one of the pink. One. Two. one i mean i'm looking like at how the inside of the bottle is comparing to what's left of the residue on the lid and we are really really close to the original color but about you missed the opportunity there though because wouldn't it have been funnier to say it's so fun to get the exact butt you are looking for <clears throat> <laughs> this is so good some people would not understand like those colors are the same oh my god they're not the same they're similar <laughs> oh this is close I, I don't I it's like so close I don't know if I should keep going like it's not quite there see this little bit like right there on the lip the edge of the lip see how that's just slightly pinker toned than what we have going on in the bottle now like literally just this little rim But I mean, like when we started, they were very, very different. I'm I'm looking at how these last two have stepped, like color wise. If I want to go like one more step in that direction, or if I should maybe go with just the red. No, I think I'm I'm doing two more red and two more pink, and then we are done. We're we're gonna stop while we're ahead. One, two, and I'm doing like generish ish, generous ish, generish ish drops. Um, I I thought these would work particularly well. Sun said that creams work, but I thought the color paint the color paints are jellies. They're sheer. So I thought that would be good since we're we're working on a hollow to like not try and lose any of the hollowness of it. Wow, we started out over here. Like look at those two. Those are are way more obviously different than all these in a row next to each other, but I mean they're they're all the same polish. I feel like my eyebrows look lopsided on camera, but maybe I'm just 
doing lopsided things with my face. Oh. Oh. Come on, camera. Oh, look at that. That's it. We're going to put it right next to the first one. <gasps> See the edge? Look it. Look it. We got a match. We did it! Like, I'm trying to find the, the biggest piece of residue left. I guess it's like right there. Like, 100% match? No, but like 95% match? Oh, we did a thing, you guys! I think we have to put this on my nails. We, we, we struggled and, and I don't want to say suffered, but like, I think we have to put that. So anybody, anybody that's just getting here, my polish that used to be this color faded to this color and we made it back to this color again using the residue on the, on the lid, the lip of the bottle, the dried residue of the old color. I mean, there's, there's not a lot left, but like I said, I mean, look at that. Wow. I'm pleased with that. I am, I rarely will say I'm pleased with 95%, but I'm pleased. I, I don't think I'm gonna, I don't want to go like too far and make it a weird color. I like that. I like that. And I really, I, I can't, I like keep looking at this. I just keep looking at this. And like, can you see like on the inside of the, like right there on the inside of the brush? It's now, I mean, it's that color. We, we did this. We, I didn't think we were going to, you can tell I'm surprised. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen like that. You know, that's true, son. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe this should be in line for next manicure. Because, yeah, that would probably piss me off with the quickness. It is super full of bubbles because I've been shaking the fuck out of it. Thank you for, for being my brain cells. Okay, so if we're not going to do that, then which one are we going to do? Like this one? Let's uh, give it a second coat. We'll put it in line for our next plain manicure. Mm. Let's give all these a second coat. Might as well. Oh, that's oh. Oh, that's so nice. I have such a strong urge to put these together. But what is it with me and like purple and teal lately? Like for real. Oh, they look so dark there. Mm. Camera's trying real hard. They're pretty accurate to bottle shade. Oh, come on, camera. Oh, oh, like, don't move. It's in focus. But you gotta move. There's, there's sparkly things going on there. I, I might have to save those to do something together. <laughs> Ew. Amethyst. I thankfully don't get too many of those. <laughs> I've had some weird ones. I think, I mean, like, I ha I have some dupes in my collection. I think once we, are, we organize everything, it'll be inevitable that some of them will end up being Frankens after this. Because that was, like... Very satisfying. 
fact, let's just... Will these notes make any sense to me later? We'll number them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I guess that makes that one 0. Yeah, I really like how the new color turned out. I'm still quite leaning toward this one, too. I wonder how that would remove. You know what? We're going to learn. We're going to find out. Should I put more hollow on top of that? I'm asking everyone except Dino, except not really, because it's all just a rhetorical question anyway, because I'm actually going to do whatever I decide in my head. <laughs> like a part of me is saying like well obviously and a part of me is saying not everything has to have extra hollow on top of it Colette <laughs> Dino mm. I mean it has some weird things going on Let's get the overly powerful flashlight because I'm too lazy to turn everything off and see if it'll show you. Ooh. Ooh, come through purple. Ooh. We're, tr we're trying to come through metallic gray. Come on. God, the purple and the turquoise are just like pss, pss, pss. Or teal. They're like, fuck the, fuck the gun metal. Give, give us a ditch. Mm -hmm. I just wish it wasn't so... Con Ooh, what if I do like that? Ooh, little tiny sparkles! <laughs> I'm doing like... Well, you can't... I'm like covering it with my finger and it's actually working better. That's a damn shame, flashlight. The fuck? Mmm... Cause I mean, it's it's right here, you guys. It's it's right here. Like, how much hollow would that really add? Oh, oh, it adds a lot, actually. You guys aren't gonna be able to see. Oh, yeah, you do. It just, okay, like, I know you can't see there, but can you see that half of it is now, like, even more sparkly, but you can't exactly tell what the sparkles are? Oh, there we are. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, Dino. Fine. Fine, son. <laughs> we'll use the hollow taco. <laughs> the flaky hollow taco. On top of this. On top of not this. Where's my regular base coat? There it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's Sesh Feet? Sesh Feet! There it is. <laughs> just the small crashing sounds in the background just lets you know what my desk is really like. <laughs> Atlas <laughs> 2 on extra hollow train. <laughs> Alright, you guys. How long have we been going? An hour and 23 minutes. Do I need a bathroom break before this manicure? No. Because we're going to be super efficient. I'm going to be, ch you know, okay, so my goal is I'm going to be rambling because I ramble. But I'll be painting at the same time as I ramble. And as long as I do that, we'll finish this in a reasonable amount of time. And I do not need to take a break. So I can just have a break after stream. And then we'll have a nice uninterrupted stream. Wouldn't that be nice? All right. So 100% acetone, Q-tip, cotton ball. No, it's a Q-tip, not a cotton ball. Um, Nails come together in a cleaning frenzy. I don't know what that means. I don't know why I said that. 
This sums up 50% of my streams. I don't know why I said that. And nails are nails are okay right now. I mean, this is the short side for me. But look at like there's no patches, and that makes me happy. Like this, I can't I can't say that this length makes me happy. But no breaks makes me happy, and this is the length of no breaks. So. I think that's called like compromise or something. Compromise on my nail length to not compromise on my uh, nail health. Yeah, rhinestones are tricky like even with gel like i've tried setting them in wet gel top coat and then like carrying it like that doesn't really seem to be quite enough of course they get weird if you uh like top coat over them because you lose your facets um i'm gonna be using non ready for takeoff unt because i don't know i got a free one time and i kind of like it And uh, we're going to be doing wrapping all around style technique. So as to protect my nails. Because I'm going to not be a lazy bitch and I'm going to wash my damn hair. Oops. So we're going to do the underside as well. And just like seal everything. We'll be doing underside with the top coat also. And it really does help. Because you're just protecting every place your nail could absorb water. You guys want to be closer? Hey, Sapphire. Yeah, if I wash it, I mean, sometimes I'll just, like, I'll take off a manicure. I'll do, um, I'll do a base and a top and that's it. Like, not actually do a full manicure. Just do, like, a a protective type of a thing. Um, but yeah, we'll do, we'll do a full manicure today. Give ourselves some sparklies and give me a chance to edit some of the nail art that I've already got recorded because holy shit I'm behind. Also I've been supposed to edit for the past several days and have not. You, you sneezing buddy? What was that? Hello? What What are you doing? <laughs> He's like... <laughs> I have the the purple with the like turquoise flaky gradient to edit which is from like the beginning of june and then we have that uh gradient with the uh complimentary stamping on top which was right after that we have the gold foils that still need to be edited um my birthday manicure still needs to be edited I feel like there's one more. I've got a list. Excuse me. I don't know where my list went. I thought it was I thought it was near to hand. But I'm apparently wrong. Anyway, I've got like four or five videos that need editing and stuff, so I'm not not exactly playing catch up with recording tutorials, more with editing them. <clears throat> to where and you like me like the edges sapphire or yeah like if if you're doing it with regular polish i i've never actually done it with regular polish but even with like gel polish you have to be really careful to like seal it in 
or it can wear kind of oddly. I'm really glad to see this index nail doesn't have any peeling. Because it was in as bad a shape as that middle nail that I so horribly peeled at the beginning of stream. And now it's all better. Um, to answer your question also, we're just doing a plain manicure. We we just franken to polish. We had a polish that had faded and we frankened it back to its original self. Yeah, definitely wrap the tips. Um, and like the, where's my, I, I don't have an orange to candy, I guess, like the tips and also like the sides. We, we turned this back to a rose gold from a regular gold when it started, it started off rose gold and it faded and then we fixed it. For my manicure, we're going to be using great graphite from finger paints polish endless wear line I don't know what that means I mean, it means this has a silver cap and cost like a dollar or two more at Sally's I think is all that means TBH um, and this is like quite opaque when I just did the quick swatch but I think we'll still probably need like two coats And we're going to hope that this comes off like a polish and not like a glitter. Yeah. On the, si on the sides or the tip also? I wonder if it is, like I said, if you're wrapping the tip and just not wrapping the sides and it is like kind of creeping in moisture from the side that's the only thing I really could think of it's an odd formula it's kind of sticky it's pretty though I gotta okay not you because you're my nice clean orange stick is there here we go So I have a question for my Hollow Knight fans. What would you like to see this evening? Should I should I do a 106? Luke is so much farther ahead of me now. Like we started out learning the category at about the same time, and our times were pretty similar for a while. But now, like he's got the sub four, and I don't even have the sub five. Yeah, go ahead, Sapphire can post a link here or you can share it in discord if you want yeah it's the little holographic bits that are in there are like chunkier so it's like it's not got a smooth finish But I don't think there's enough of that hollow glitter to, like we were talking about, actually really impact the removal. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the goal that I set myself and then didn't meet and then tried to reset myself was to do like at least one 106 a week, and I haven't done one this week. I also thought at some point I might torture myself with room, ra room randomizer for you guys as amusement, which is exactly what it sounds like, where every every time you go through a transition doorway or hallway or whatever, you know, from er everywhere there would normally be a loading screen, you end up somewhere else randomly. Hmm. 
Um, probably. Like, the races, I, I always would like to, but I try not to, unless it's, like, something that I absolutely know, like, oh my god, I gotta get in on that. Like, I'm trying to not let the races too much dictate, like, Saturday nail streams. I don't want to, like, shortchange you guys on the Saturday nail streams just because I'm trying to get, get everything together for the race. So, of course... A lot of the times, the reason stream runs long is because we do experimenting and manicure in one stream. And we have not gone back to some of the experiments that we previously did that were supposed to be like, oh, now we know that this works and we can just do strictly a manicure stream instead of a testing and manicure stream. Camera. yes yes like by a good chunk son and he hated it he hated it so bad I said at the end I was like you are gonna hate this PB so much mm. no he he ran again amethyst he uh he started stream at like 11 o'clock last night and uh he lost his internet connection twice. Uh, I think he died twice in the Coliseum. But he, like, he still, like, PB'd by almost, like, 10 minutes. But he was so, he was like, it's a horrible PB. I was like, <laughs> yeah, it was going late into the night. He was, he didn't wrap up until, I think, like, 3.30 or so. Hmm. Yeah, I th well, I think, I'm assuming, and I think he mentioned, I think he's still on vacation from work. So he's been uh, taking advantage of his degenerate, his ability to have degenerate hours right now. And uh, last night's stream was titled Revenge on 106. And he, I mean, he mostly did, but I mean, there were some parts that were like super, super frustrating. Yeah, tired. The heat, I think, also, like, anybody that's someplace where it's hot and you're like, oh, why am I so tired? Like, because your body, like, takes a lot just dealing with that shit, honestly. Oops. That was a little bit sloppy. It's okay. I really... Can you guys... I just want to get like a little bit of the nah it doesn't want to show any of the hollow I probably would have to actually turn off the ring light and get the camera flash the uh, the cell phone camera flash I should say maybe I will do that after I get a second coat on everybody everybody being all my nails <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was pretty late i had just like given up hope of anybody streaming hollow Knight and maybe feeling a little bit guilty that i wasn't streaming because i really wanted to stream and i just <sighs> i was supposed to be editing and i still didn't get much editing done i did get some other stuff done but i just i don't know i'd love to blame it on the heat but like i said my air conditioning has been going so i haven't even had to be out and about in the heat or anything. I, I don't know if I can still use that as an excuse. But I was like looking around and I'm like, man, nobody's nobody's streaming Hollow Knight. And then there was Luke. getting, And then I was especially surprised because in his early stream he said he probably wouldn't stream for a couple days. But apparently, you know, that revenge just had to be had. <sighs> yeah, a lot of the times the weather does, even from inside, like affect if, if I have a headache or something, 
or the air quality too you know now that i think about it maybe i can blame it on that a lot of times when it gets so thick and humid the air quality just goes completely to shit too and i don't i mean i i try to like pay attention to it and stuff but on the other hand it's like there's not a whole lot you can do about it so but i have not checked it the last couple days i'm just gonna assume it's shit and blame everything on that Maybe do a little bit of cleanup on this too. I tried to woe us lots. Tried to keep it pretty neatly. <clears throat> That's fine. I, I nudged the mic with a nail. But it's okay. Mm -mm. All right, let's get the uh, get the flashlight. Let's carefully turn off the ring light. Let's oh, let's actually close this. Let's not just scoot it off to the side. Open. That's not the move. Can, can we focus here, camera? Oh, you're still not going to show. It's not... Ooh, there. No. Ah. Why are you blinking? Ooh, right there. The hollow on this is extremely sparse. Why is it, like, flickering? I have, like, 30% battery flashlight. Why are you... little itty bitty tiny not quite as itty bitty and tiny as it looks on camera there but wait a minute is that sorry i try to keep you guys on 12 notches just to keep things consistent um let's do a little bit of cleanup Oh, wow. That's crazy. There was some severe weather, like, close to here. Flash flooding and stuff yesterday, but it didn't actually rain here, like, at my house. And then just, like, a couple miles away, it's, like, fucking flash flood. Mm. Oh, little beanie here. Get out of there, thanks. Yeah, okay, you know, just from cleaning this up, it's uh, putting some of my fears to rest. You know, it's not... Because even, like, just this level of cleanup, like, with the actual glitter, can be like, oh, for real... But this is not too bad. So hopefully the removal won't be too bad either. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your edges are not sealed enough. Like, one thing, too, that I try to do with, uh, like, with pigments, and actually also with foils, because they can also do something kind of similar, is, like, leave myself some leeway. Like, okay, so we got, like, cuticle gap here, and make sure to keep the pigment, like, on that side of the cuticle gap, and then, like, when I top coat... The top coat is touching and covering that cuticle gap. Not touching your skin, because then you're going to have problems and that's not going to wear well either. But like you, 
you don't just want to cover the pigment, you want to overlap the edge of the pigment. It's a beautiful color, though. I could see why that would be super frustrating, irritating. That's that's the best way I could, I guess, explain it, is you want to overlap it, not just cover it. Because if, like, imagine layers, you know, you got a layer and a layer and a layer, and if they're all just flush with each other, then stuff coming from the sides is touching that middle layer. You want the final top layer to... That was not an appropriate sound effect, I don't think, for... <laughs> Cap capping all the sides and the edges and the tips and the side walls and the cuticles and, like, everything. With nail art, practice really does make closer to perfect. You all know things don't go perfectly very often, so I can't say makes perfect, but it makes it closer to perfect. It's literally the only way to get better. Unless there's some secret out there, and if you know this secret, then please share with the class. Alright, we'll get this nice and neat. We'll put that hollow taco on top. And that thick, glossy sesh beat. And then I'm going to have dinner. And then we're going to have Hollow Knight. And I, I, I think you're right, Amethyst. I kind of am leaning toward 106. It's already after 7, though. If I start too much after 8, I'm not going to want to run a 106. Not, like, just because it's long, because, like, a Brando or something could be long, too. But, like, 106 is long, and then at the end is, like, the hardest... You know, like, having to fight Grimm and everything. You're, like, under the most pressure. It's, like... Of course, I don't know. I guess I'm under quite a bit of pressure the whole thing, but... Whether I do 106, I think, will be determined by what time the evening stream gets kicked off. I don't, I don't know. It depend, I guess that all depends on how long it takes me to eat and how long it takes me to put these shiny things on top of this shiny thing. Hey, Nisi. Um, I have once, Athelis, I did a Nightmare King Grim Nails around Halloween last year. And they... they I tried to freehand a grim face and I'm honestly wasn't the most happy with that, but they were just accents. And then the rest of my nails were like his cloak inspired with like little floating glowing essences made out of dream catcher stamps or no, were they made out of fruit stamps? I, I really liked that manicure. I liked the cloak nails better than I anticipated. They were not hollow. No, they were not hollow. Okay, so now we've got uh, the flaky hollow taco. And I don't know how these will be looking. Okay, stop that. I don't know how these will be looking on camera. But we'll have some flashlight time at the end. Oh man, it's even hard for me to see. I mean, thankfully, they they are pretty well... Whoa, don't drip. Can I... Like, they're... Well, come on, camera. They're pretty evenly suspended in there, so it's not like you have to do a lot of scooping. Can you tell that... Oh, actually, you can. That looks kind of interesting on camera. Like, you can't actually see the hollow, but I think you definitely can tell that there's something different about that nail. Hmm. And did I mention that the hollow over the purple staggered gradient was in fact not overkill? It was it was kind of perfect because it like it evened out the hollow between the two 
or three or four. I mean, we used four colors. Two of them were from one brand and two from another, so they were kind of similar, but it just evened out the hollow between all of them and gave, like, the finished design a really even hollow finish, even though, like, it was staggered and it was a gradient and all that. Like, the hollow... I, I don't know how else to say it. It was just... I was glad I did it. Yeah, I think partly, too, it's because we're already getting glossier. Like, this one, you can tell, like, there's some lumps you just in the reflection of the ring light and the other ones with the hollow on top are much smoother and then once we once we finish with sesh v we'll be all good oops that kind of flung a little streamer of polish over there oops yeah it's uh what is this called great graphite which is like a oh that's actually a great shot of it not fully in focus but you can see some of the it's got a very sparse hollow to it it's like a gunmetal metallic with these uh hollow glitters sparsely sparkled through it but i think the flaky hollow taco will like amp that to the level that it should be that was actually Sometimes that's the most frustrating thing. Like, I try and I try and I'm going at different angles and I've got, like, flashlights and all this shit for you guys and I'm trying to just show things as best as possible. And then I just have some, like, random shot like that that's better than everything I had been trying so hard to do. Yeah, I think that the scattered would have been good, too. But I feel like... the sparkles in here see see now you're not you're not seeing it there like i said the actual the out of focus actually slightly helps but i'm i'm actually i would like to show the texture to people no maybe they're a little they're a little chunkier i feel like uh did i yeah i did like did i put it on this already i feel like this is kind of closer to the hollow that's already in there so much hollow so little time and the flaky is my favorite although like i said the linear the linear was the perfect choice over the reciprocal gradient i want to do a reciprocal gradient again sometime soon i don't know when but i feel like I don't want to lose my touch that I somewhat regained by the end of that manicure. Like after placing them for 10 nails worth, I felt like I was finally getting down, like handling the strips. Um, and I just, I have some other ideas. Like it would be cool to do them and do every nail, like in the same reciprocal design. And we talked about that a little bit, even for the purple one. Um, that stair step placement that I put on my index nail really, really was my favorite. I I could definitely see a whole manicure like that or do it where they're like every other nail. So like stair step up, stair step down, stair step up, stair step down type of a placement. I smell polish. I, I, for some reason, don't think it's my fingers. This is closed. Those are all closed because I already double checked them. Maybe it is just my fingers. I mean, that would be obvious, but I don't know. You ever just catch a whiff of something and you're like, that came from not right here. It came from somewhere else. And like, I, I don't know, I, I have ignored the smell of polish before and then like found the leaking bottle that was the source of the smell. So every time I smell polish, I'm like, wait, where is it coming from? And sometimes polish just, it's like if you walk down like the air freshener or the uh, fabric softener aisle at the grocery store and you just, you smell in a bunch of air soft, air, air softener. You know what I'm saying? It, it smells, even though everything's in plastic and everything's packaged, like, that aisle is centerific or scent awful depending on your feelings 
Like sometimes nail polish is like that. Like if I just like open up a helmet drawer and it's just like this whiff of nail polish, even though everything inside is closed. Um, you know, it's an investment. It's, I mean, it's not cheap polish. It's more along the lines of like indie polish than like drugstore polish. But yeah, I, I think I would. Um, did you see all the swatches that I did, Anne? I can't remember who was and who was not here for the swatches. Where's Black Notebook? Black Notebook. Oh, here you are. <gasps> Fuck. Fuck. Oh, no. Right thumb. Sorry, right thumb. There, you're fine. I didn't hurt you. I didn't hurt you. I just want to get that out so that when I do my last flashlight time, I can show anybody that hasn't seen um, why I would recommend purchasing these. But I'll explain. Like, they are exactly what they say they are, but they are top-notch executions. Um, the linear hollow taco in particular, I was impressed compared to my other linear hollows how unsilver it was when not catching hollow um the black is multi-purpose and bomb as fuck it stamps it water marbles it's one coat the blue is just juicy and be and beautiful and the tacos are all just really good Yeah, I mean the the scent, and I don't mind the scent of most polish. I mean, don't don't like huff polish, boys and girls. Work in a well ventilated area, all that shit. But like, you know, it's not like some people are like, oh my god, nail polish. <laughs> like, I I just don't find it to be an objectionable smell. Um, with with a few exceptions, like uh, the the shit that I was using for patches. God, that is horrible. Well, that's not even polish. That's like the gel but some old polishes like man you could you could smell those chemicals a mile away um now that's glossy now you can see the difference between smoother and smooth um where was i going with this rambling oh no we got a chunky get off of there you see it Ew. Get off my brush. Yeah, it just all depends. I think a lot of people are scent sensitive. Which I think people that like aren't scent sensitive are sometimes not very sensitive with their scents. <laughs> um... But, you know, like, I don't know, some people use, like, way too much perfume and stuff. And I know, like, I'm kind of sensitive. My mom is really sensitive. And, like, if we go shopping or something together, I mean, I don't want to, like, laugh at her pain. But she really does be dramatic sometimes. Like, if she smells something that, like, is not, is she's not okay with. <laughs> and I think she thinks she's being subtle. She's like 100% not. And I'm like, mom, why don't you just go tell this person they funky to you, even though they think they smell good with their probably expensive cologne. She'll be in there. She'll be like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, and people just, and I don't know if it's like they just don't care or they think it smells so good. They think everybody want to smells it or they just like overdo it a little bit. But like, I should not, like, if you walk in front of me and then I cross through your path, I should not be able to smell you. Whether that's funky or that's flowers, I don't want to smell you. Period. Like, period. Um, yeah. I mean, I've had both experiences, especially, like, at the grocery store. Oh, my God. Like, you, you, you in here smelling, like, like chemically chemically altered flowers <laughs> you know like killing my appetite <laughs> yeah yeah i wonder if that does play a part of it i'm i mean i am asthmatic too yes yeah, cigarette smoke 
not my favorite it doesn't super super bother me but i definitely like notice it but like yeah people that like have like super strong cologne and perfume like do you realize this isn't supposed to be like for general consumption this is supposed to be like if your lover comes and sticks their nose right behind your ear and you know type of romantic shit then they'll be like oh you smell so good not like from across from like hey what you got on like that's not that's not what's up it's just not my opinion of course everybody's entitled to their own opinion but i mean you shouldn't have to like i mean i don't know keep keep yourself clean and you shouldn't have to cover anything up with like perfume or something like I said, I don't want to. I don't want to be smelling ass either. <laughs> but you know, perfume is not. Or okay, especially both together. Please just don't. <laughs> if you funky, accept your funkiness, or go take a goddamn shower. Don't just like slather on perfume or or, or aftershave or whatever the fuck. Ew. Ew. Yeah, sometimes it really is very, very particular sense. Like, my mom cannot stand anything with musk. I don't know if I have a particularly, like, most hated scent. I, just, I don't want to be, like, overwhelmed with scent at all. It's, or especially, like, in public and then, like, people have on, like, competing scents that, like, do not go together. All right, ooh battery is letting me know that it does not have very much battery left in it but we're gonna we're gonna be very careful not to smudge our nails because Sashvit is not completely a miracle worker <laughs> okay so y'all saw the flashlight time last time and we were like where's the hollow like where is it like there it is can we can we focus a little bit camera no so you don't need focus for rainbows okay so i pulled this out anybody that was not here when we were playing these are the uh the hollow taco collection uh the first one is the scattered the second is the flaky and the third one is the linear they're a little bit warped because I top coated them, and so the pages, as you can see, like curved. Then, of course, we have the royalty blue and the black. But, like, the row underneath them, while not top coated, is a comparison with some of my other hollows. And, like, especially like these two, you see how, like, silvery they are. And then you see this one, it's like almost invisible when the hollow isn't on it, but then, like, when the hollow is there. And what are what are these? FF thing FF FP. This is FP. What is this? FF. I've I've forgotten what these stand for. One of these is finger paints. One this is China Glaze Fairy Dust. This is orally something that's barely worth it. Like barely hollow. This is uh Revlon Holographic Pearls. I don't remember what the first two are. You guys I'm sorry. Okay, my phone says no. My phone says you your battery is dead and you cannot use the flashlight anymore. But if you want like tons more of that, um, rewind the vod or go go check out the uh, the initial swatches. I mean, you can see a little bit here under the lights as well, but of course, much less hollow. But I think like my point of of the silverness is is very obvious here uh, e even though the flaky i think is my favorite i'm maybe most impressed with that out of the linear and that's why i was able to use that linear over my staggered gradient and not obscure like these would obscure all that staggered pattern um this just like enhanced it so <clears throat> Mm 
Yes, Amethyst. Not the <laughs> method. Oh, <laughs> you don't like coconuts. That's I mean, coconut is is a common smell now. I think the most scent that I usually have on comes from my hair products. And a lot of times that can be coconut or like different like tropical smelling things because tropical smelling things are some of my favorites um and like the the lotion i use isn't really too scented i mean it has a scent to it but it's not like scented um but yeah I, my hair i know usually has a combination of scents in it mm. For a minute, I thought I misread it, son. I thought it said Beanie is trying to steal your parfait. And I was like, but Beanie is right here. <laughs> and then I reread it and saw that it was Barney. All coconut is the devil. No, son. <laughs> yeah. And the box. Where's where's my box? The box is freaking cool. I don't know what I'm going to put in here. And I have a non-damaged one coming too, actually. Like the box is got the magnetic lip. I'm trying to be careful with my nails because I know they're not quite quite dry. I don't know if when they uh, do the the restock, if they're gonna have more of the uh, collection boxes, but the collection boxes are pretty cool. Plus, buying them as a collection, you do. Uh, I think if I'm doing the correct math in my head, you do save a little bit of money. Camera. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, Amethyst is just certain, certain smells. Hey, Sparkly. We, we are doing well. We are unfortunately just about to wrap up. We just finished a little bit of flashlight time. Let's see if the powerful flashlight will do anything. Ooh, yeah, actually a little bit, not as good with the, with the light still on. That was part of the reason I thought this one might be good is that I thought it might be like, so, Ooh, actually so powerful. I could use it without turning off the ring light. We, we added some extra hollow on this gunmetal manicure, which under regular lighting, you would never guess, but there's a shitload of hollow on there right now. Um, I am going to, okay, let's see if I can find somewhere to send you guys. I'm going to take a dinner break. Um, I'm going to guess half an hour on the short side, hour and a half on the long side, which means probably it'll end up being around an hour. Um... Um, she has so many viewers. I was going to say, Spoonie's playing Hollow Knight. Toby's streaming. Playing the Mud is streaming. Ben. Uh. Ooh. Okay, I, I have two targets I'm going to ask you guys. Um, it looks like Karina uh, Brillante, K, who we hang out with sometimes, is streaming. She is streaming a little Stardew Valley. And Ash to Smurf, who also hangs out sometime, is doing a little bit of uh, Hollow Knight rando. So you guys want some Stardew Valley or some Hollow Knight? Yeah. Hi, Coney. Yeah, I am. I'm. Uh, we just finished up this manicure, and I'm gonna take a dinner break before I, before I come back with some Hollow Knight. Mm. <laughs> I hope you've been well, Coney. I saw you were working on commissions a couple days ago. You know what? I don't think I've, I've, have I rated Ash before? I don't think I've rated either one of them before. That's why I, I asked you guys if, if anybody had, <laughs> we do have a lot of Hollow Knight fans and Ash has only been going for an hour and a half. So she, she might be less close to finishing stream. So let's split rate half to one and half to another. I cannot, but if you guys want to, you know what I'll do? Uh, 
let's do like this let me uh i'm gonna oops twitch please i am gonna rate us over to ash but i'm going to oh, where are we here mm. If you guys want to go check out Karina, there's her link. If you guys want to give her a follow, I'm going to get this raid going to Ash. If we have anybody new that would like to join the Discord, that's where you can find out when tonight's evening stream starts. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I am going to be back after I have a bite to eat. And um, I hope that some of you will come back and hang out with me then. Um, I had a very lovely time hanging out and doing nails and talking about holographic things and how much people stink, good or bad. <laughs> so I hope you all have a lovely evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Drop some, oh, yeah. some beans in chat here. No! no. <laughs> yes! Mm. Not about, about this life! life. <laughs> and of course, to everybody life. on YouTube, she's, she might die here. Don't die, Ash! Yeah. Oh, she died! Oh no. Um. <laughs> this is a little dramatic. <laughs> Oh. Thank you all for watching on YouTube. There will be links to other YouTube things over here. If you would like to come hang out live for a nail polish and chill, I do these, I don't know, from time to time, sometimes like once a week. It, it really depends on if I'm feeling in the mood for nail art or have the time for nail art or when I plan on doing nail art again, because you don't want to do nail art and then like take it immediately back off. But I find it to be uh, quite fun hanging out with everyone while I do my nails, and a lot of times the chat is doing nails along with me too, and I'm rambling quite too much, so I'll just say, in closing, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>